Good morning. I have my coffee and I'm ready to start the day. And part of starting my day for the last couple of weeks has been doing these morning videos. And you would think they get easier. The filming of them actually does. I think anytime you do something repeatedly, it, it becomes just easier. But posting them has gotten harder and harder, and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Um, <clears throat> I love quotes, first of all, and the title of this one, if you're not turning anyone off, you're not turning anyone on, or it's gonna be something like that, is one thing that I keep reminding myself of. And the other thing is what scares you today won't scare you tomorrow. So um, here's the thing about the videos. I was reading a book by Gary Vaynerchuk, crushing it. It's a great book. Uh, if you don't have it and you're interested in building a brand or a business, it, it is a great book to get. And there was a thing in there that made me think it might be interesting for people who are wanting to become an entrepreneur but have no idea what it's like or they want to start a side hustle to really hear from someone who's doing it what it feels like, what the struggles are, what the joy is with being an entrepreneur. And then also my solopreneurs or entrepreneurs that are out there who feel like, gosh, you know, no one understands what this is like, kind of give us a, a sense of community. So that's the reason I started the daily videos. And it kind of felt scary at first, but I was only putting them on YouTube. And I, I say only on YouTube because I don't have a lot of followers on YouTube. When I started, I think I had 32 or 33 and I have 37 now. So I've gained a few in the last couple of weeks, which is more than I usually get, by the way. Um, and so even though it felt vulnerable and a little bit scary, it really wasn't too bad because it's like there's 37 people out there, right? And then um, I shared this in a previous video. I was on a call with Louise and Jay and uh, Jay said, why aren't you putting them on LinkedIn? Like he challenged me to do that. And it gave me like, oh, that doesn't feel good. And I've really been thinking about it. You guys are gonna hear my sprinklers start up. <laughs> um, why did that scare me so much? And it's because I have like 3,700 people on LinkedIn. Not 37, 3,700. So a lot more people are going to see the videos. Not only will a lot more people see the videos, but my previous colleagues are going to see them. You know, I have great colleagues at Avnet, at APS, from Walters Kluwer, and my corporate colleagues are going to see the videos. And I left corporate in July of last year, really stepped full time into my business in August through a layoff. And you know, anytime you go through something like that, you always worry, like, what do my colleagues think, my past colleagues, about what I'm doing now? Um, do they wonder when it's gonna fail? Or do they think it's awesome? Do they wish they were doing it? But all these, like, you know, thoughts go through your mind. And so the first couple of videos that I posted, they didn't feel too bad. But then over time, as I'm posting them every day on LinkedIn, I get like, ugh, that feeling, like what if the people don't like it? What if they think the videos are stupid? What if they're wondering, gosh, you know, why is Carla posting a video every day? She doesn't have that much to say. And that's all that what if in our minds that stops us from doing the things that scares us. Um, and it, we feel so exposed, right? I mean, I even had a dream last night that, <laughs> it's one of those naked in public dreams, right? where I posted something online that I couldn't take down. And I woke up and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, how did that happen, you know? And uh, then I'm like, no, no, it was a dream. And when I woke up this morning, I realized I feel so vulnerable with these videos every day that that's what's causing those dreams. And so it's really easy to say, if you're not turning people off, you're not turning anybody on, but then to actually do it when you're putting stuff out there and in your heart, you know you're probably gonna be turning some people off. So I just keep doing it and um, I know that people can unsubscribe or not, I mean on YouTube they can unsubscribe, they can unconnect from me here, they can stop following me on LinkedIn. Um, you know, there's a lot of things they can do to control the content too. And then I've gotten some really cool comments that tell me that there is some value in, in doing this. Um, and then I also was thinking to kind of give myself some motivation <laughs> to keep putting them on LinkedIn. Who have I heard lately who is really, really vulnerable and how did I feel about it? And Louise Reed has a podcast 
where she interviews primarily women doing really cool stuff, but she's got some men on there too. And she did an interview with Michelle Baxo, and that interview stuck with me because Michelle was so open and vulnerable, and she really shared a lot of her personal journey. And I remember at the end of the podcast thinking, I'd like to have a glass of wine with that gal. And I thought, you know, that probably turns some people off. But someone like me, it really connected with me. So I share all this with you because if you are struggling with either starting a business, starting a side hustle, really owning your brand and getting out there and saying, this is who I serve, or this is you know, my product and how it's going to help, um, try doing some things that are scary and really focus on turning some people off. And even as I say that, like I catch my breath a little bit because it is not fun, it's not comfortable. <laughs> and yet I know it's the right thing to do. So yeah, cute little uh, you know, catchy phrases are very cool and you can believe in them, but when it comes to really taking action, that can be hard. So um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I would love to hear your thoughts about having it on YouTube, of course. I'm especially interested if you're watching it on LinkedIn. Uh, how does it feel? How does it resonate with you? And for anyone who's watching, what are you going to do that's going to turn some people off this week? Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.